Hey, Donald. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so uh, game art design. Uh, the worship the sun and hate the moon. I love it. Love the concept. That's why the moon is almost all the final image of bottom right went for a prison. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I had a bit of trouble conveying depth in some images. Well, I, I'd like you to expound on that. How did you have difficulty um, displaying depth? It's really important that you expound on things like this because as a designer, you really want to be able to express yourself using um, industry specific tech um, uh, vocabulary. So I think that's really important to be able to expound on if you're having difficulty doing something, establishing depth, maybe establishing harmony or unity, um, to be able to describe the reasons why. Okay, so the, th these are good. I think these are fantastic. I, I, the reason I, I think these are very highly successful, all four of them, is because they have a wonderful, uh, the contrast is gorgeous, and there, there's absolutely no second guessing what's happening in each scene. And I think that you inherently, with, with, with the, the, the high degree and the high development of contrast, I think you inherently achieve um, depth, uh, specifically here and here, here where you're using overlap and, and uh, tonal uh, variations, and then here based on the tonal variations. So I, I think these are great. The nice thing about these is you've had the foresight to be able to very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, consistently, or uh, you, each of these has the, the versatility to be able to place type in them, and that's fantastic. Okay, so um, a couple of comments moving forward. I think this is really good. Nice. This is done to a high degree. Shouldn't should the moon be a circle? Because right now it, it's not. Even if we fill in the rest of the moon where the the shadow is, it's still not a circle. And, and I think this would really make a lot of sense if that moon were, were a circle uh, and then that quarter moon were taken out of it. I think that would definitely help. Um, same thing all along. This looks more like a C, but that's kind of cool in a way. So um, the other thing is over here, we've got the swords. Now, this is called the hilt, right? This is where the handle of the sword meets the uh, blade of the sword. That's called the hilt. But right now, if you take a look at each of these, swords the the hilt is, is it's it's on a diagonal so that creates kind of an unusual visual inconsistency that that almost creates a, a an uncomfortable stress in, in in that particular area i mean you know by looking at it you know something is a miss here you know something is a skew but until you look really closely you figure out that it's yeah the hilt is not uh perpendicular to the um to the blade itself, okay? So I would definitely recommend fitting, fixing that. Also, the bars here, the top bars are not um, consistent in their uh, horizontal placement where they end. So it, we get a little inconsistency there that the, the uh, viewer actually picks up on. And also, while we're there, we can see that these bars are thicker than these bars. So it, that, that, again, creates a little bit of visual inconsistency. And I think, I think adding some consistency there would definitely help. Um, all right, so you feel feel free to move forward in the direction you feel has the most potential. Um, and thank you, thank you very much. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks.